In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to model a clock in Maya. I've already mentioned this in my intro, but I should also mention that part one will not cover any modeling. I'm just going to be talking about importing and inlining the image planes. Now, those image planes that I speak of will be holding these pictures here. You can download these pictures, or reference images, on the web page where you're viewing this video. There should be a download link, to, or something called downloads, or reference images. Now then, the two images we'll be working with are this side view and this front view. So, back to Maya. Create a new scene, and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is break it up into four views. I can pressing the spacebar on the keyboard, and this will tell Maya to break it up the viewport into four panels. Now, if you don't already know about image planes or have some sort of an understanding of them, I suggest you read my tutorial or watch my tutorial on image planes in Maya. It goes in depth in discussing image planes and how to set them up properly. This tutorial will just show you how to do it in this specific circumstance. So, go to View, Image Plane, Import Image Plane on the front view, and select the front view image, which in this case is called Clock import that. Now the second thing I want to do is import the side view. So I'm going to go to view, select camera, no, I mean, excuse me, go to view, image plane, import image, and grab my side view image, which is clock 2. Okay, back to our main viewport perspective. So now that I have the two image planes in Maya, it's not too hard to recognize that the side view does not quite line up with the front view. So the side view needs to be scaled up just a tiny bit. I'm going to select the side view image plane, open up the attributes editor, go to image plane 2, and I'm going to scale it. I do this by changing the width and height properties in the attributes editor. So I'm going to start off with setting the width to about 30.6 maybe, and I'm going to set the other side height to 0.6. So that's actually it right there. So I'm done with scaling the image planes. So the next thing I want to do is adjust their positioning so it's a little easier to model with them. Right now they're in the center of the scene, or better known as the origin, and when you have your image planes positioned in the center of the scene, since you can't see through them, it becomes a little more complicated to model. So I normally want to put them behind the object. So to do that, I'm going to select the side view and move it to the left side of our front image plane. To do that, I'm going to set this negative, I mean, I'm going to set the x-axis of this image plane to negative 15, half the width of our front view image plane. Now, I want to move the front view image plane back a few units on the negative z-axis. So, I'll select the front view image plane. Once again, I'm inside the attributes editor, and set the center to negative, I'll go with 4. Okay, so now I have our two image planes imported and inlined with our view and the rest of the scene. Now I'm going to save. So, I'll go to File, Save Scene As, give it a name. In this case, I'm calling it Part 1. Click Save. And that concludes Part 1. Part 2 will start modeling the body of the clock. Thanks for watching this tutorial series.